Hello everybody, this is WizWorld 100, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. And well, the votes are in, the only three votes that were in there, so... Hope you guys get a little bit more active next time on the Sunday Showcase. But uh, the votes are in and the game that we're going to be playing, that I'm going to be playing... Jeez, this is going to be an occurring thing for a while, isn't it? The game I'm going to be playing and showcasing it to you guys... D2! So yeah, D2, the sequel to D, which is, uh, I believe, also on the uh, Dreamcast as well. Uh, this game is completely different from the first one, because uh, the first one was an FMV uh, puzzle-solving point-and-click. And, well, they, they changed it. They changed the gameplay for D2, where it's more of a survival horror. At least that's what I'm expecting. And it certainly does have a bunch of uh, horrors in it, such as in the intro, someone gets uh, deep-throated deep by a tentacle beast. Plant thing, yeah. But uh, yeah, this game is uh, pretty somewhat expensive to get. I got this for 60 bucks. It did come in good condition with all the discs. All four discs, uh, you didn't see the other one because the instruction manual is in here. Yeah, so uh, this is kind of a lot, but I figured I'd get it before it gets uh, expensive. And well, survival horror and stuff, so... And if anything... You know, it might be kind of like Resident Evil 4, although I'm not really expecting it to be like Resident Evil 4, but... You know, it sounds fun. So let's get on to it. Alrighty, I had some technical difficulties. Uh, apparently it was... One of the, um... The AV cable did not... Not AV cable. One of the AC, uh... Plugs just did... Decided not to power my Dreamcast unless I plugged into something, uh... Less old? I don't know. I don't think my, uh, old power strip cord is uh going bad because it works for all the other stuff but uh, for some reason the Dreamcast was having problems Warp they made an RPG I don't know and uh, these companies which I've seen everywhere that seems kind of generic D2 four disc this is a four disc game I think that's the only four disc game I own so there's the opening movie which we're not gonna watch if you want to watch it please just go on YouTube and watch it you came here for the game and I'm here to showcase the game Alright, so let's start this game. Ba basically, something happens, we get attacked by a monster, a lady tries to save us, but she gets deep-throated. And now we're out. We're either in the room or... They still show the cutscene. Man, my eyes are red. You know what, the graphics kind of look like uh, Eternal Darkness graphics. Maybe it could have been on the Dreamcast, actually. Loading. 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 Transition. Oh no, I paused it! Can I skip it? Well, in the meantime, it does this on the memory card, so... Kinda neat. You, you just can't skip it. You just can't skip it. By the way, that's the lady that gets uh, deep-throated. Uh, did you transition out of here? Or fast-forward? You know, it would help if I looked at the instruction manual. You had to rapidly press the B button to, fr to freaking, to freaking skip it. So now we're actually in control. Ugh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. I wonder, cause like the controls, I wasn't exactly having free movement. It was like in a point and click game, kind of like the previous one, except you just went to places. I hope it's only in like uh, these cab and type places. Great, this is going to be one of those, like, Wizward takes a look at, like, what the controls are. Oh, great, are these photos actually going to come into play, or is it just, like, a waste of time? I saw shotgun bullets on the table, I wanted to get them. What's in here? Is there some weapons? Ooh, I like this. Grab it. Machine gun. Hey, I'm sure I'll figure out how to play... I need to look for a little girl. That's or someone. That's that's the gist I got from this game. Man, that storm sounds an awful lot like my furnace, huh? Fucking asshole. Man, she just goes out in a suit. I guess it's not that cold. Maybe she's Canadian. Oh, hunting now? Oh no, Mr. Bunny, no! Did I shoot it? 
killer instincts. I know I could skip it, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to like read. Oh, speaking of Canadian, apparently uh, the place is in Canada. The game setting is in Canada. Hey, there's a little compass on here. I'm sorry, Mr. Bunny! <laughs> you got too neat. Wait, did I just like grab it instantly? Poor Mr. Bunny, he did nothing wrong. Oh no, more Mr. Bunnies. You monsters! No, Mr. Bunny! Oh no, other Mr. Bunny, no! The first thing I do is kill bunnies! Wow, you're way better than me. Yeah, when they stand still. You can put the game you call this marble cooker. It automatically cleans and cooks the meat. So you can eat whenever you're hungry. Man, that's convenient. You have an alien impregnated in, into you. Although they have the excuse of not having surgery, because uh, I don't, I don't see a surgery, surgery unit anywhere. And if anything, the surgery unit will probably be like this machine is programmed to operate on man. Ah, oh, great, Resident Evil turret controls, of course, classic. Camera, oh jeez. Wait a minute, is my rifle unlimited? Well, it says press A to use it in the manual, but oh, you can use the D-pad. That's very nice. What is this? The dog kennel? Wait, I see something. What is that? A silencer? A grenade? By the way, I was not aware that we had tentacle monsters in, uh, Canada. Not aware? I didn't say I wasn't surprised. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh! That's kind of interesting. This is- you know what? This is kind of like a Killer7, actually. Also, one question, what fucking submachine gun only has 15 bullets? Unless I can upgrade it. Oh, so do I have unlimited bullets? Because, uh, that's kind of interesting. Er, presumably I'm right there. Mountain hut, yeah, that should be it. So that was my map. Inventory. Oh, so there's a sh- Well, obviously there was a shotgun, there's a pistol, and then there's a- There's an assault rifle? <laughs> Canada. Its capital is Ottawa. I don't think that's true anymore. Oh, you know what? Might as well, like, save the game. Hmm, this is, uh, this game is- Interesting so far. So let's keep moving. Well now the the whole bad control can be forgiven a little bit because uh the combat is uh actually not that bad. So is the hunting rifle like not used as a weapon but more of a but more of a to hunt for food? Whew, that was close. Not sure how I was supposed to reload by the way. But I'm pretty sure it's all actually I think it's it's automatic from uh what I was reading. It says when the counter reaches zero, you will automatically get a new mag. Man, I mean, we got good health care if we're dropping first aid everywhere. <laughs> Are you from the monster movie? Oh, so that's what the other buttons are. X and B lets you uh, move from side to side. Level up, level two. Cool. So there's actually no way to, like, waste bullets since you have infinite- Interesting take. Interesting take. Oh. There were birds and shit. And what was that about getting hungry and stuff? Yeah, those black marks, it's- I don't think that's actually from the game, but it's actually, uh, uh, from the AV cables. But even then, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, you can't- you can't just reload by, uh, pressing the Y button. Man, I miss skiing. Actually, I switched to snowboarding because uh, these two dumb bitches, like uh, when we were getting off the lift, knocked me into a into a split. Most painful thing I've ever had to go through. So I've actually kind of gotten just a little tad cautious with my skiing. So I went with snowboarding because there's no way you can split on that, except maybe your back, which I almost did. But I'm I'm a much better skier though. Man, what what can I say? Our healthcare system is so good, we drop first aid spray everywhere. Oh, that's weird. I had to hold the Y and A to, like, uh, actually take a look at that first aid. Oh, hey, there's another one! Man, good camera angle showing me all that cool stuff. That'd be kind of neat. It's like the cutscenes actually come into some sort of play to help you, like, see stuff. Well, I guess since, um, I have infinite ammo, I guess I don't really need to get bullets. Or not! My bad! Oh! That's weird. Man, my, uh, I might need to get a better... That was creepy. 
I better, I think I need to get a better Dreamcast uh, AV cable. Interesting uh, picture portrait with a uh, of so of, uh, voice uh, of a sound chip in it. Really? You got a cut from that? Jeez, woman. Then again, it could be just from the cold. There's a coat on the back. Something's. What? Don't even tell me, like, uh, oh, hey, you picked up the thing with Bob. I'm gonna check this out anyways. I know I don't have the card, but still. Insert e-reader card key. Well, back out into the cold, harsh lands of Canada. The only other game I can think of where it takes place in Canada is uh, that Scott Pilgrim game. I think that's about the only one I can think of. Oh, but... No, screw you. I accidentally backed up because I wanted to readjust myself. It's cool, the compass actually does something. I see something on the roof. Which would you rather be stuck in? Uh, the winter cold or the desert? You either freeze to death or you burn to death. Or die from a heat uh, stroke. I, die? I don't know what the squares are for. I assume that's like the, the weak spots. We're already facing two enemies at once. This is going to be uh, tricky. Because they don't have that many bullets. Ooh. <gasps> no! No, not Mr. Bunny! No, Mr. Bunny! Hope I don't get attacked during this. That's not like Bugs Bunny's like sign, is it? Ah, go back to D-pad. Man, this would have been great in, like, say, Terror's Realm that you could use the D-pad. Oh, it was just a piece of crap. And it's... Uh, the random monster encounter. I find it actually pretty okay to have it like this because it's uh, it's it's horror, right? I like it when it's uh random and not uh, expected. I'm shooting this guy in the eyeball. Come on! Those guys had a lot of opportunities to hit me, but all right, let's check the map. This is either a very small place or does that say Bacon Farm Historical Park? Underground mine. You know, just for this uh, showcase, we're gonna go to the crash site. I hope the whole eating thing is just mainly for, uh, to heal myself. I don't like how that tower there is just towering over. Hey, is that more free healthcare? It's more free healthcare! I feel like I'm gonna break my D-pad if I keep, uh, using it in this game. Wait, is that... No, god damn, my graphics need to... My cable... Whoa. Hmm. Okay, that's just a win. My uh, AV cable, uh... I need to get a better one. Because all those black specks shouldn't be there. Just watch. Just watch when I, like, render it and stuff. I'm gonna show this and be like, uh... We can't actually see it. Hey, what's that? Is that just more black speck, or...? Yep, that's just more black speck. I know they're gonna drop something here, and I kind of... I knew it! When you hear, like, your Dreamcast disc, like, uh, like, winding up, uh, that's actually it loading, uh, the monster, so... Interesting way to get, uh, get, a uh, advanced warning about it. I definitely like the gameplay of this, it's very interesting. By the way, is that little thing in the middle supposed to be, like, uh, when's my next, uh, level up? Because, uh, well, that's convenient. I don't know if there's a run button in this game. Yeah, this is what Sunday Showcase is about. Just showcasing you guys' games in my collection. And uh, I'm glad I picked this game. I was originally not going to pick it because I just didn't feel like it. But you know what? I'm glad I did. I was going to pick Charge and Blast, but I also didn't want to play that game because uh, that game's not very good. Despite being an arcade title. Come on, get in there. Man, this is like some Fallout sh uh, shit. Come on, hold the gun better than that. I get the feeling there's gonna be a boss fight in here. Hopefully, no. You know, I'd like to... Hmm, how many survival games are there where there's like just no boss fight, but it's like, you know, everything else is already there to kill you. You don't, you don't need all that extra tension of like, oh, there's gonna be a boss fight here. I see a Christmas present, come on. It's mine now. You're mine now. 
Can I grab that? Where's some blinking uh, items to help me to tell me what I can pick up? Anything? This plane has a purpose. That's why I came in here. Hey, is that a survivor? She's not bloody. I think I'll end it on the next uh, level up. So let's get out of here. Nothing interesting. Hey, what's that up there? Oh my god, you can't, like, look all around. Like, you can only be like... You can't... You can't just, like, turn around. Jeez. Come on! That was a waste of time. I don't even know what the purpose of that was. Is there a cutscene? Nothing happened. I just now know that there are dead people in there. And what about that bacon you were talking about on the map? Come on, where's the next Pokemon battle? Gonna take a snapshot with some bullets. Is there any point in to this area? Man, two at once, come on. Hey, I haven't forgotten about you. Dianoga! That's Dianoga in the sand. It really seems like that bottom that bottom bar is like my survive my uh, XP uh, skills. Oh, I did say after that level up, but uh No, Mr. Bunny! Even though it's a hair. I've been calling it a bunny. But bunnies sound so much better than hair. Hair just sounds eh. Well, I'm just going to end it there. So, that was D2. Uh I actually I'm actually enjoying it. Uh I hope to uh, get around to playing it some more and eventually doing a review on it. So, if you can, get your hands on a Dreamcast and play some D2 because this game is getting quite expensive to get fully with all the discs. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's uh, Sunday Showcase. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to go to my site, LazyWorksCreations.com, Sunday Showcase poll, vote for the next game so we can... So I can showcase more uh, games like this, rare games, common games, any games, and just, you know, play them, showcase them to you, and, well, find out what's a gem or not. So with that said, I'm Wizard 100 you're the viewers, and I'm the showcaser. So stay tuned for more. See ya! I'm sorry, Mr. Bunny! <laughs>